Get away, John. That's better. You are. <laughs> went down on my knee, not across. You went down on your knee, not across. That's right. Right. Yeah. Well, tell that to the fucking doll. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm imagining 20 people have filmed this. <laughs> so anyway, you won't be drawing benefit on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You've been YouTubed. <laughs> Yeah, you can't lick envelopes, but you can get up on stage and show off your wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Even fucking Tiggly Town Punk looking bad as for you. <laughs> you are, you are to me now, Tiggly Town Punk. <laughs> You're a fucking kid show in my head. <laughs> Tiggly Town Punk couldn't understand why nobody got what he was raging against. <laughs> He was so angry, he sat in his toadstool and... <laughs> <laughs> Why can't anybody understand that our leader was once a great man before he went into the jungle? <laughs> I tried to come out with a plan. I do want to get blinded. <laughs> Look, he's down, he's not there, he's at a shooting point. I'm going to... I'm going to... Has anyone got any sellotape now? <laughs> I'm going to cut... Well, look, hey, we've got a show to do. All right, there's a compere. I come out here with very obviously no idea. <laughs> and now, I just don't like you this relaxed. <laughs> I need that You need that back? Yeah. Well, of course you do. You're going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine going to heaven and going, where's me fucking... <laughs> I need that back. All right, you'll get it back, but do you mind if we just leave it up there as yeah. an example? All right, we're going to have a winner tonight, and the winner is going to blind Johnny Vegas. <laughs> In one eye. With pleasure. Probably the, with pleasure. Yeah, you probably find it that way, rather than that way. <laughs> Wouldn't you, you dumb fuck? <laughs> See you, love. See you, love. Leg. <laughs> Look at me screwing the lid on furious. Down there, dude. Down there. What is? The lid. The lid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your life must be so full. <laughs> After 15 minutes of chatting, you're worrying where the lid went. <laughs> yeah, or else the magic stuff that makes us live forever might fall out of the pen. <laughs> oh, I nearly stood on it! <laughs> You nearly stood on it! The love of your life won't live forever! <laughs> I've got something like this. It's called Booper. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really. Won't, won't go to them twats, not after them adverts. <laughs> Mr. Brown felt sick. Yeah, because he's circular and blue. <laughs> Don't condescend me, you mental wankers. I tell you what, if you're so wonderful, why don't you pay for your own fucking blood? You get that for now. Anyway, not the start I was hoping for. <laughs> well, then it never is when I come here. I missed our first guest tonight, a tight ten minutes. I like the braces. Love making... Pardon? I like the braces. You like the braces? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fucking not quite punk enough, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a belt, a belt. You know that fucking overhang with the stomach? I'm sorry! I've got one as well, so it's fine. You've got what? A belt? You've got a belt? And overhang. Hell, I try to move on and this is what happens. You've got a belt, I've got braces. I've got a stomach, that leads to overhang. It folds over. I constantly pull up my ass. You don't because you put no weight on because all food belongs to touch you. <laughs> so what am I to do? At least, at least when a fucking dinner party goes a bit lame, I can look like that lad at the end of the uh, fucking that film. <laughs> you know, uh, Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse when he falls under a polar bear. <laughs> he 
what he does. He turns up and they all shoot him and kill him. And then the, <laughs> the sheriff turns up and he's been... He's been a bastard in the film, hasn't he? He's bullied the town. And his one remaining henchman, a polar bear, falls on him. And he climbs out and they go, what happened? And he goes, I don't know, a bear fell on me. And the sheriff laughs and they laugh. Despite the fact there's a man lying there with fucking 15 bullet wounds in him. And they laugh and nobody reports it. Yeah, welcome to Cage Fight. That's America for you. That's America for you. Fucking hell, I love you. I'm going to go backstage and drink nine vodkas and come back and chat to you. <laughs> That's America for you. Cage fighting. Bastards. If we could get back to the good old traditional wrestling, the two blows going. <laughs> I like cage fighting. Gives me less... Anyway, I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into it! It's time to move on. It's a new start, a new beginning. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm just blocking you out there. I've fallen for this before. I've got your magic pencil, I'd shut up if I was you. Uh, if you want to fucking live forever. What if she goes to heaven and you don't? And you're just sat in hell wanking. Wanking? With one of them pencils where you press the top but the legs go out. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I can only see you, genuinely. I'm going to have a chat in halfway through, so we can kill the lights and set up a bit more cruelty throughout the day. <laughs> it is a lovely club, I'm actually really surprised, and I'm just fucking trying to figure out what, how it's costing me to be here. <laughs> Darryl, you've took my mum and dad out of a home. Yeah. <laughs> I've got an idea of all my relatives camping now because of him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new Just a Tonic. Tonight we're going to see a blinding. And uh, other than that, we're going to see some fantastic acts, as you've come to expect. Um, normally by the end of the night, I get emotional and I, I talk about things that bother me. Here it comes out in a rage. Uh, but I, I, I do want to tell you now, before I get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> the Glee Club are a bunch of cunts. <laughs> they've been good to me in the past, but I, I've heard them whispering around bush shelter. They don't like me for coming in. They've been belittling me. So let's prove them wrong tonight and have a, have a great night. And I, I, maybe I won't have to end up raving about stuff. Maybe I, I won't have to uh, draw on my body. <laughs> maybe we can just all gang together and make this a brilliant night for the, for the sake of and the benefit of the quality acts that we've got here and, and, and for a man who sells tea bags. <laughs> Maybe we, can, maybe we can do that. I don't know, mate. There, there's a lovely thing with this lighting system. You just sound like an angry train. <laughs> but stuck in a tunnel. <laughs> hear this. Rah, 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 rah. They don't get any closer. And I feel like I've got fucking powers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, not quite the round we start we expected. But uh, there's already two people in the room that if you want to identify them later at the bar, you can fucking lay on them. <laughs> It's a nightclub ambience, everyone will turn the, you know, a blind eye. <laughs> the plastic glass is right, so it's very hard to work them properly, but if you crush them slowly, you don't get a sharp edge. <laughs> Go for it, I advise it. <laughs> Damn you, fucking Mr. Martin, your venue has tamed me. Friends <laughs> are coming out with sensible things like how to work people. <laughs> with plastic glasses. <laughs> His opening thing was, it's alright, you can throw these, they won't hurt. <laughs> Cheers. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Vegas. I'm wearing braces! Fucking new jacket from TK Maxx. <laughs> but it's not about me and my shopping. <laughs> My shopping hazards. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and talk to you a little bit later. 
It's about the people who actually bother to write a fucking professional. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the people who would have been coming rather than me on the way down. 40 minutes in the dressing room, I had him pinned to a wall going, It's all about sound! <laughs> if they can't hear you, they can't hear you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you now to think, these early memories are the ones that, you know, wankers go online and talk about. <laughs> That's this tonight. I'm about to bring on your first very special guest of the evening. And when I do, I, I, I don't know, throw something, start a fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make it memorable. For your own reasons, not you. Not you, you're just memorable for being deep your mics and <laughs> clinging onto a music genre that fucking died ages ago. <laughs> what about the rest of you? If you want to do something new, then we have to at the back. <laughs> but, whilst I stop talking and introduce the gentleman in question, there's, there's times on stage where you were, uh, you know what you have to do and you're not sure how you should do it. Our first guest tonight, stormed Edinburgh, has come back, not needing to play this place, but Devil's got Polaroids. <laughs> but he's here, and when, when you see him, you might kind of go, it's a bit Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> Comedically, you can't deny he's got something. But socially, is it right? <laughs> That's not up to, to judge. It's up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I myself would section him. <laughs> but I hope you just enjoy the, it's very rare you can say this a minute, the unique <laughs> comedy style <laughs> of the, the fantastic, the absolutely original, there's no one who does this, Please welcome on stage the boy or man with sellotape on his cock. No, no. The boy with tape on his face! 